Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this easy, quick and beginner friendly makeup look which is perfect for beginners. I'm going to prep my skin using the Alcoholic Priming Moisturizer. This is a two-in-one step. It is also moisturizing as well as priming on the skin. So your skin gets prepped in a single step itself. It adds a nice amount of moisture to your skin and your makeup sits properly on top. For foundation, I'm using the Drop the Base Serum Foundation and my shade is Lungo. This is a very, very hydrating and natural finish foundation. I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend out the foundation here. I'm using gentle dabbing motion to blend the foundation as it gives a flawless finish. For concealer, I'm using the Magic Wand Concealer in the shade Con Panna to highlight as well as conceal under my eyes as well as on top of my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow and also cleaning around the eyebrow area and highlighting the center of the face as well. I'm using the same beauty blender to blend out the concealer in again gentle dabbing motion. This concealer is very very high in coverage so a little bit goes a long long way. To set my base makeup, I'm using the Dream Cover Compact Powder and I'm taking a nice layer of the compact powder on the same beauty blender and setting my entire base makeup in place. This is also going to add a little bit of coverage and sets your makeup beautifully and makes your makeup very long lasting as well. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. For that, I'm using the Arch Arrival Brow Definer in the shade Woody Scooby, which is such a pretty uh, deep brown shade. I'm using this spoolie to comb through my eyebrows and then I'm going to fill in any gaps on my eyebrows. Always make sure to fill in your eyebrows as they frame your face. Then I'm going to take the Contour Defaults Blusher in the shade Mauve Marvel uh, and I'm going to run that all over my eyelids up till the crease area and blend it out thoroughly. You really don't have to use eyeshadows. You can work with blushes, contouring powders, bronzers as well as highlighters if you're a beginner. I'm also using the same blusher um, on the apples of my cheeks to add a nice flush of color to my face. Then I'm taking the Contour Day Force Mini Bronzer in the shade Caramel Captain and just ever so slightly deepening up the outer corners of my eyes. These blushers and bronzers are multifunctional so they are great. I'm also using the same bronzer to sculpt my features and to add a bit of color to my face. So I'm just applying that to the perimeters of the face as well as pinching the same brush and applying that alongside my nose to define my nose. Then I'm going to take the Contour Deforce Mini Highlighter in the shade Metal Metal which is such a pretty golden highlighter and just popping that on the two-thirds of my eyelids under the crease area just to add a bit of shine. I'm also going to use the same highlighter to add a bit of glow to my skin. So I'm just popping that on the tops of my cheekbones and also highlighting the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow and chin. I'm going to line my eyes here using the double matte liquid eyeliner in the shade Black Swan. This is an optional step. If you're good with eyeliner, you can opt for a nice eyeliner style. Or you can directly jump over to mascara, which also looks great. I'm using the Lash of Titans Volumizing Mascara here, which adds tons and tons of volume to your lashes. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Metal Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bellatrix which is such a beautiful, uh, universally flattering mauve lipstick color. So I'm just first over drawing my lips and filling in the rest of the lips as well and it looks so beautiful. It goes with any sort of makeup look. And last and final step is to set your makeup in place. I'm using the Grand Finale Setting Mist in the Variant Matte. This is just going to make sure that the makeup lasts uh, through the entire day without any oil peeking through from the skin which is super important. And here is the final finished look.